Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 56 of A Toast Trap. This is a devlog of my tycoon game, Space Prevention Force, where your mission is to build, research, and market your company to save the most alien lives. In this video, I will talk about my weekly game progress, show a little bit of my karate training, and we will have fun. That's right. So let's have some fun. I made some improvements to the sucky alien this week. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yo, yo, chill. I'm still I'm still picking out the name. Whenever a sucky alien spawn, they will now move towards the closest room and latch on. Thank you, Sam Hogan, for suggesting this idea after the demo. I like this because it makes it easier to tell that they're a threat, that they're not just random things popping up on screen, that you actually need to shoo them away. The system's not perfect yet because if they spawn on top of a room, they don't do anything, which is kind of, you know, not the point of it. So I'm thinking about changing it later so that they all spawn off screen and that they slowly move on screen and attach to the room. So that shouldn't shouldn't be a problem anymore. The sucky alien is what I consider an obstacle that gets in the way of the player's progress. So I need to do a lot of balancing with this, whether it's just the general speed of the sucky aliens or whether it's their health. I really get this down once I have the other mechanics balanced because there's a lot of different things I need to balance and it's probably not the core thing. So I'll probably leave that till a little bit later. I also added what I'm calling the notification system. Notifications will pop up on screen for various things, whether a speaking event has started, a research upgrade is completed, or your marketing campaign is done. I'll be honest, I did not plan on doing this at all. I literally don't even have it in my task list. It kind of just happened. I was getting pretty annoyed with the giant speaking UI coming up every time a speaking event started. And although I, I mean, I could make it smaller, I think just notifications make a little bit more sense to me. So I actually did spend a good amount of time doing this. This is really the main thing I did this week. And it stinks that I don't have a lot to show for it, but I am really glad that I did it. It's very adaptable, so I can add it to multiple other mechanics later. Right now, I just have it for the speaking events, research, and marketing. But I can also add it for certain milestones, like hitting a new year, or potentially adding some more statistics with that later. To accomplish this, I tried my hand again at scriptable objects, but I'm not sure if I did it in the best way. Regardless, it's probably easier than if I hadn't used scriptable objects, so, so it's good. I'm definitely gonna keep working with the look and design of the notifications, but the system as is, is pretty much set, I just need to keep continuing it and updating it. In the world of martial arts and tricking, I worked on my front handsprings, and no, they are not good, but I at least attempted them, and the biggest thing is really getting over that fear. They are still kind of scary, but at least I tried. I don't have a third thing for this video because, like I said, I spent a lot of time on the notifications. I do have to shout out Games in House though, because he showed me on my last video that I could cache the animated component for my workers, so I went ahead and did that. My question this week is, have you ever before or still have an obsession with Stardew Valley? I'll be honest, I just first picked it up at the beginning of this year, but I am still playing it and I'm only on year two and I'm really loving it so far. Thank you all for watching. I want you to know that I love you, I care for you, and I am there for you. My Discord messages will always be open if you need anything at all. From me and my fellow commanders, we are saying goodbye, and we'll see you in the next devlog. Bye, everyone.